definitely welcome everybody. Uh, and while it may look like we have a small group tonight, uh, just remember that we have th about 3,000 people that are going to be watching from home all over the United States. No pressure. Um, so just a little bit of housekeeping real quick. Uh, of course, next Monday on October 24th, we have the Obon Society. And we've shown uh, the video a couple times in the past. We're going to skip it tonight uh, because Don has uh, really wants to jump into his amazing presentation as quickly as possible. But it's a great story. There's a couple on the West Coast that collects these, these Japanese battle flags that are trophies. Uh, that were taken during World War II and brought home here to the States. And they take them and they identify the families back in Japan and they return them. Uh, so, um, does anybody here know the significance of the number 22? 22 as it applies to military veterans? Suicides per day. So the number 22 has become synonymous sort of in the media. You hear it blasted out. Uh, and the, and the, the tagline is that 22 veterans commit suicide daily in the United States. 22. Uh, unfortunately, that number that everybody has sort of rallied around, 22, is actually uh, not the right number. Um, that number 22 came from a Veterans Affairs report uh, that only took a census of about 23 states. And states like California and Texas uh, are states that don't report suicides to the VA. And those are states that have massive veteran populations. So as you can deduce, we should be using the number 22 as a bare minimum or a starting point. So on Thursday, October 27th, we have a very special movie that I believe has, uh, it's an independent film that's been created by a, a group of disabled veterans called Project 22. And we have three showtimes in our movie theater on that day, noon, 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. It will be showing this movie, Project 22. And it's just a great story about veterans overcoming this, uh, this horrible number. Don Allsbro and his speech, The Two Sides of My Vietnam War. Don is a retired U.S. Army colonel, served two tours in Vietnam. He is also the president of Lest We Forget. It's an organization in Benton Harbor dedicated to educating students and the community on our nation's military history. Uh, I think that we're all going to really appreciate his unique perspective on the Vietnam War. So thank you, Don.